What's going on, team? Well, it didn't take long, but President Joe Biden has already shown through his actions that he doesn't intend to unite. In fact, do just the opposite. And proof positive of that is the 1776 project being discarded, being withdrawn, rescinded uh, by, via executive order. And let me tell you, he went quick. Yesterday, I heard about the 1776 project, and I thought to myself, I'm a reasonable person. I'm a history major. I, I'm a history buff. I'm an amateur historian. A well-read one, by the way. Uh, and uh, well, I wanted to see what it had to say for myself because all all the all the people, all the Washington Post, New York Times, saying that it was a terrible, bad report, didn't tell me why. They just heaped on criticism of the writers and of Trump and of uh, you know saying it was bad and saying it was terrible, but not giving any examples why. So I wanted to read it myself, and then lo and behold. Guess what happened? Boom. Page not found. I can see here in the URL, uh, 1776 Commission takes historically scholarly step to restore understanding, greatness, American. So this, this is where it was supposed to be. And it's not there anymore. Joe Biden went that quick within, I mean, I, I think I looked yesterday at 1400, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was already gone. So he raised his right hand, went to his desk, and immediately took this down. Why? Why would you do that? This was an answer to the to the sixteen seven sorry the sixteen nineteen project, which is terrible, just just and wrong. Let's we go there to the let's just read the very first page. In August of sixteen nineteen, a ship appeared on the horizon near Point Comfort, a coastal port in the English colony of Virginia. It carried more than twenty enslaved Africans who were sold to the colonists. <laughs> Wrong! You see, this is what happens when you allow reporters and activists to teach history instead of actual historians. For instance, if we take this book right here, hello, uh, written by Dr. David Hudson, a historian. Let's just read it. Uh, he's a First Amendment scholar for the First Amendment Center at Vanderbilt University. He writes regularly for the Supreme Court as a contributing editor of the American Bar Association's review, preview of U.S. Uh, Supreme Court cases. He also teaches several classes at the National School of Law. He is our author of more than 25 books, so he knows his stuff. And on page 81, uh, in 1619, a Dutch ship carrying 20 Africans landed at Jamestown, Virginia. They were put to work as servants, not as slaves. So who's lying? Is it him, the guy who's just trying to teach history, or is it the people with an agenda trying to sell you a narrative? You decide, although I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm at. So we go back to the article. Let's read what he had to say. President Joe Biden Wednesday issued an executive order to dissolve the 1776 Commission. A panel stood up by President Donald Trump as a rebuttal to schools applying a more accurate history curriculum around the slavery in the U.S. Biden's transition team announced Wednesday. It had been formed as an apparent counter to the New York Times 1619 project, which is, I mean, fair enough. I mean, the counter... You don't counter the 1619 project. You just tell the truth, and the truth counters 1619 project. And that's the big difference here. Is this, Do I agree with the 1776 project report? Do I agree with everything in there? I don't know. I wasn't allowed to read it because somebody in charge, Joe Biden, censored it. As you can see, I, I found a copy, and you can too. Links are in the description. Go ahead and give it a read and counter the 1619 project. That's all we're left with. And guys, on page one of the 1619 project, as I just showed you earlier in the video, there is an untruthfulness. There is a falsity, a non-truthitude. And so all we are left with is the narrative of the 1619 Project. This, the 1776 report, was a scholarly endeavor that, that tried to give a different perspective. And that's exactly what we need. That's what free people do. We take different perspectives and we analyze them both. And then we decide as reasonable people which one is has a better foundation. Which perspective is the more reasoned one? Which one best fits the historical record? You know, which one is just saying, here's what happened, and which one is saying, here's why it happened? Joe Biden has now said with his recension of the 1776 report that that's the history that he's going to ascribe to. That's the history he wants us to unify around. A false narrative where white people are the enemies who had evil intents and wanted to enslave and destroy uh, the black man and women and any minority, really, or anyone didn't look like us. I mean, it's not true. It's it's not true. It's just not true. 
And, and you can, the 1619 Project, as we've, as we've shown, has a skewed perspective and is biased. And that's why we needed the 1776 report. We needed something that was going to counter that. And now we don't have it. Unify this, I guess. Thanks for watching.